going questers so uh, today we're going to be looking at how to use the Xbox controller in the quest um, so just to start off we're going to be using a gaming laptop and an oculus quest 2 headset and we're going to actually connect that to the new Xbox one controller and then we're going to use that to play games inside the oculus quest uh, we could do this via steam or virtual desktop so uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, do the unboxing so uh, this is the new Xbox One uh, controller. Um, you don't necessarily need the Xbox One controller. I should feel f uh, sort of obliged to mention if you've got an old PlayStation controller, a Stadia controller, or anything like that, you can use them. Um, I'm not mad keen on Xbox, but I just like the look of this. Um, thought I'd go for something with a bit of a different feel. Um, so right out the box, feels nice and solid, it's got USB-C on the back, which connects into the laptop nicely. Um, and unfortunately it's not lithium, so it's powered by uh, your regular batteries. I would recommend going for a decent 1.5 volt, double A's. <clears throat> Should get a decent amount of time out of these now, because I think... A lot of the time they're going to be using wireless technology over Bluetooth, which should reduce the battery time. Everything feels nice and uh, clunky. Um, and ah, get that in the right way. Um, feels really well built. I, d I don't like the shape of it compared to the PlayStation one, but this is looking all shiny and new and actually matches the Oculus. So we're getting this flashing light now. What we need to do now is pair this uh, with the laptop or the computer that you're going to use. Um, nice sort of detail on the outside, gives you a bit of a grip. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing paired up. So we've got the Xbox controller, the gaming laptop and the Quest. Starting on the Xbox, press this button in the middle to fire it up. And what you'll then see is it starts flashing. Now that's not the button to connect. Xbox have now put the this button, which if you press it on the back, will then allow you to connect wirelessly or via Bluetooth. Uh, you need to hold it in for a couple of seconds and there you go, the magic noise. It will start then blinking at a higher rate uh, to indicate that the Xbox control is connected. So let's have a look at it on the screen. You can then see the wireless controller uh, is now connected to the MSI laptop. So uh, let's get Steam open. Um, so in Steam there are settings in here where you can configure various controllers uh, as I said before Stadia, PlayStation, you know, anything that will plug into your laptop or your PC. Um, you can do that with a USB-C or USB 3 cable. Uh, again I'm really going for the whole wireless experience here. Um, so just going to open up uh, one of the basic games that are in Steam and um, we'll play on that. Um, so let's get R type open. As you can see now, the controller is controlling the laptop screen. And so, what we want to do now is we want to get this running inside the actual headset. So, um, to do that, what I'm going to be using is a program called Virtual Desktop. Uh, this allows me to just, you know, mirror my screen into the Quest. You can use a link cable and just use Steam but I prefer the virtual desktop to be completely wireless. And that's again the purpose of this video. So uh, let's get the Quest out. Uh, as you can see, no wires attached. Um, and we're now just going to pop that on and inside open virtual desktop. So the program running inside here now allows me to sit inside many different environments. You can see I've got a 1200 kilobytes per second speed there we're on Wi-Fi 6. You can run any game via Steam inside here. I've tested many of them. Um, and this is me now sitting wireless headset, wireless controller. Obviously, all in the same room. But uh, I can use the Xbox controller to play one of my favourite old arcade games. So Destiny, uh, Grand Theft Auto, anything we'll play inside here, I'll uh, just use this one for the simplicity of this video. Um, but um, if you want to check out other things, um, 
I'm going to actually put up some other videos on how to get the Wi-Fi 6 going on it um, and also how to do some other little things, tips and tricks uh, for the quest. So if you've enjoyed this video and it's been useful and it certainly gives you something else to do with your quest, uh, don't forget, obviously everybody asks this, but please like and subscribe and uh, I will see you in the next one.